Howdy out there everyone. Today we're going to take a quick look at this fantastic film from 2022, earlier this year, uh, directed by Alex Garland, who's becoming one of my favorite uh, directors. Uh, I think his work with Ex Machina and Annihilation are uh, beyond reproach. He just did a terrific job with both films. And of course, he also, I believe, directed the TV show Devs, which I have not seen, but I've heard good things about. But man, of course, um, is just a really bizarre, psychological, social commentary horror film that excels at every facet of its uh, intentions. It's a, a movie that starts off, you know, with the sort of a tense sort of psychological uh, drama aspect to it and proceeds to take the viewer places that uh, they probably hadn't anticipated, especially in that third controversial act. Uh, this is a film that's uh, lens by Rob Hardy, who of course did one of the Mission Impossible films, I believe Fallout, as well as um, Alex Garland's earlier work, uh, Ex Machina and Annihilation and Devs, among others. And he's clearly a man with talent. Uh, the film just looks exquisite. The Blu-ray looks terrific. I have no desire to upgrade even if they did have a 4K. I think this, this film looks and sounds wonderful uh, on this Blu-ray disc. And uh, I'm just so uh, enthralled by the way it sort of captivated me. As someone who has seen so many movies, it's rare that a movie makes an impression like this film did. Um, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say too much more, but I would just advise my viewers to go into this as naive as possible and just watch it and go along with it for the ride. But understand that there will be a third act that may be a little too much for some, but I felt like it earned it and it didn't seem gimmicky, but it was still shocking all the same. So I would say if you liked films like Mother, Midsommar, maybe Antichrist, um, this is a movie that definitely sort of fits within that universe. Uh, and I would argue that it's probably um, the best of those films. It, it captures um, just, I think, lightning in a bottle. It's, it's, it's one of those movies that as I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, this is a movie that I'm going to be watching again and talking about for years to come. So on that note, I would just say uh, definitely give this thing a, a look. I want to also make particular mention to Jesse Buckley and uh, Rory Kinnear, the two actors who share the screen together. They are both so good in the film, and in particular, Rory Kinnear just does a, um, just, he's so unsettling in this film, and just uh, is, does a fantastic job striking the right balance between, you know, what seems to be almost innocent, um, a kind of aloofness, a little bit of microaggression to just downright creepy. And I think Jesse Buckley, the actress who plays opposite him, they just have such great energy together and it gives the viewer uh, much to think about by the end of the film. So on that note, please do take care out there, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and keep watching Weird Cinema.